The fallback widget is similar to the featured listings widget in that it reduces the amount of blank space on your web page. It's very important for your leads to be always looking at properties and never at a blank space because blank space doesn't transform into leads. If they're always looking at properties, it's more likely that they will find something that they like. So how does this widget work? All you have to do is to select a widget that you think might at some point have blank space on your web page. I made a test called test for fallback in a client's account and it's this one right here. When I was creating the widget, I added criteria that was hard to meet um, in terms of price, number of bedrooms, um, and I added an additional feature called airplane access. So it's very hard for a, a home or a property to have airplane access. Because of that, when I preview this widget, it has no results. This can happen when there are criteria that are hard to meet, but it can also happen on regular widgets when there are just no properties that meet the criteria that you're looking for in that particular moment. So what you want to do is to select that widget over here and to select a fallback. So in the case that this widget shows no results, which fallback do you want to show? In this case, I'm going to choose Featured Showcase, so the Featured Properties as a Showcase. And it gives you a new code. So when you're adding this widget, Test for Fallback, on your website, because you can still add it, instead of using this code right here, you'll use this one because it's programmed to show a fallback when this one shows no properties. But don't worry, if this one were to show properties, this one always has priority. So let's test it out in JS Fiddle. We already know that this widget has no properties, so it should show the featured properties instead. And there it is. It's showing the featured properties because this one has no results. So instead of your leads seeing this, when they go on your website, they will see this right here. And you have a greater chance of them looking at your featured listings because instead of looking at blank space, they're looking at something that they might like. This is a very useful app and it's very easy to do and you can just configure it as many times as you'd like. Just select the, the widget that you want to use and the fallback. The widgets are created in IDX Broker in Design widgets and legacy you can create a new one right here and then once you create it and it shows up here it will also show in this drop down